Okay, so I'm, I'm not a travel vlogger. I don't have a lot of actual video content. Don't sue me. <laughs> but anyway, so we went to the catacombs. And the catacombs, they're, they're underground tunnels. They're under Paris. They originated as mines way back in however long in history. Then... Basically, in the late teen, in the late teen, the late 1700s, they became the catacombs. Even though the actual like ossuary, like bone part of it, isn't actually the, like the majority of the tunnels. But <laughs> so, how do mines go from mines to this? You might wonder. Basically, they kind of forgot about some of these mines, and then some of them started collapsing. They're like, oh, gee, better explore this space. And also Paris had a bit of an overflowing cemetery issue. Like to the point where apparently some basement walls were kind of maybe collapsing from the weight of mass graves on the other side of them sort of thing. Wasn't, wasn't fun sounding at all. So you know, obviously the answer is shove all these ancient dead bones underground. And then a few years later arrange them into artistic, artsy, death wonder. Yeah. On a sort of related note, because Notre Dame may or may not have been built with limestone from the mines slash quarries that the catacombs used to be. See, there's a connection. Also, my favorite fun fact now is that it took, like, give or take a few years, 150-ish years to build Notre Dame. And, I mean, looking at it, that's believable. But on the other hand, like, wow, that's a long time to, like... <laughs> What would you do? Because that's, that's not happening in one person's lifetime. What would you do if someone else comes along and goes, Eh, I don't like that guy's plans. That changed the whole thing. Yikes. But I did like Notre Dame. The inside, like, it's actually still... I didn't realize going to Paris, because I've never, you know, looked it up. It's still functional. It's really functional as a church. But but you're still having, like, tourists going that. So it's, like, in the middle of it, it's the functional church. And then all the tourists are, like, walking around, like, on the edges of inside the building. It's like, oh, Okay. And then continuing the bone theme, the uh, treasury has martyr bones inside fancy caskets, as you did see a picture in there of. But my favorite part was definitely climbing the many, many steps of Notre Dame to see the gargoyles. And then the pretty view from up high, but like the gargoyles were my main focus. <clears throat> not at all Disney influence. Nope, not at all. Heh. <laughs> also, I like thought Notre Dame stairs were going to be like way worse because it's going to be like Three, is it 300 and something or is it 400 and something steps but I guess there's more breaks going up because I was like that's like double the catacombs I'm gonna die it was actually fine but we did it the day after the catacombs so maybe I built up my steps I don't know but I hope you enjoyed the picturey ramble that wasn't from Hamble <laughs>